this lesson is how to drape the bustier bodice and will be taught by Barbara arada Gavir, a fashion designer and an adjunct professor at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. The first step when draping the bustier is to apply style tape to your dress form to establish your guidelines and neck style line. Start by taping across the bust level from the left apex across to the right apex. Tape the desired neckline from center front to center back. At the side seam, don't drop lower than one inch from the arm plate. For beginners, it's a good idea to apply your bust level tape from center front to the side seam. This will make it easier when balancing the side front panel. Be sure that the tape is level to the floor. We will be using the princess lines of the dress form, both front and back, as the princess style lines for this bustier. Next, you need to record measurements to prep your muslin panels. Begin by measuring from the neckline princess intersection to the bottom of the waist tape, then add three inches. This will be the length of both your center front and side front panels. Measure from apex to center front plus three inches. This is the width of your muslin center front panel. Measure across at the widest part of the side front panel from side seam to apex. Then add three inches. This is the width of your side front panel. At the side seam, measure from the neckline side seam intersection to the waist and add three inches. This will be the length of both the muslin center back and side back panels. For the width of the side back panel, measure across the widest part from princess to the side seam and add three inches. For the center back panel, measure across the widest part from center back to princess and add three inches. Prepare your bustier panels by referring to your recorded measurements. Always tear off the selvage edges of your muslin yardage first. For each of your required panels, you will measure, clip, and then tear the muslin. Make sure that you tear each of the muslin blocks on the correct grain. The length measurement of a panel should be torn in the muslin's warp, or length grain, and the width measurement of a panel should be torn along the weft, or cross grain of the muslin. Press your front and back muslin blocks without steam to flatten the edges. Always press in the direction of the grain. Turn the blocks over and press the other side. Use your L-square to check your front and back muslin pieces so that the corners and your grains are at right angles to each other. Pull the corners to get the pieces to block perfectly. Flip the blocks over and check that the other edge is at a right angle. It's very important that your grain lines are straight when draping. Continue this process until your edges align with the right angle of the L-square. Once your pieces are perfectly blocked, give a final pressing, this time using steam. Again, remember to press in the direction of the grain. Do this for all of the bodice and skirt muslin block pieces. For draping purposes, you'll need to mark guidelines on all of your panels. Begin on the center front panel, coming in one inch from the right side length grain edge and draw a guideline down. This is center front. Find the midway point of the front side panel and draw a guideline down the length of the panel. This is your side front panel balance guideline. Come down from the top approximately six inches and draw a guideline across the width of the panel. This is the bust level guideline. Find the midway point of the side back panel and draw a guideline down. This is your side back panel balance guideline. Come in one inch from the left side of the center back panel and draw a guideline down. This is the center back. Begin the bustier drape by bending back the center front panel's one inch extension, then finger press the edge. Never iron this fold as it can cause the grain to stretch. Align the center front panel to the center front of the dress form. Pin at the neckline center front intersection with approximately two inches of excess muslin above the pinning. Continue to pin along center front, trapping busties above and below the apex. Add pins along center front and then secure a pin at the center front waistline intersection at the bottom of the waist tape. Smooth the muslin along the neckline to the princess line of the dress form and secure it with pins.
pin along the princess line, feeling the ridge of the dress form's princess seam with your fingers. As you pin under the apex, continue to smooth the muslin from center front to the princess seam. Finish pinning the center front princess by securing a pin at the princess waistline intersection. Looking through the muslin, use your pencil to begin the marking process. Work in a counterclockwise direction, starting with a dash at the center front neckline intersection. Then, continue marking using a series of dots along the top of the neckline tape until you reach the princess line. Using dots while marking will make it easier for truing your lines later. Place a cross mark at the neckline princess intersection. Now, dot along the princess line in between the pins until you reach the apex. Add a cross mark at the apex and then continue to dot along the princess from the apex to the bottom of the waist tape. Place a cross mark at the princess waistline intersection. Dot along the bottom of the waist tape until you reach the center front, where you'll place a dash mark. Make sure that you've captured all of your markings and then unpin the center front drape from the dress form. In preparation for aligning the side front panel's balance guideline, use your tape measure to find the midway point between the side seam and the apex at bust level. Sink a pin into the dress form at that point. If you decide to tape the bust level from apex to side seam, do that now. Place a pin on your side front muslin panel at the midway guideline bust level intersection and align it with the midway pin on the bust level style tape of the dress form. Align the muslin's midway bust level intersection with the midway bust level intersection on the dress form. Secure a pin at the princess neck style line intersection. Looking through the muslin, level the muslin's bust level guideline with that of the dress forms. Then, place a holding pin and another pin at the neck princess intersection. Once you know that the bust level guideline aligns with the bust level tape of the dress form, smooth the balance guideline down to the waistline. Pick up a pinch of ease at the waistline here and secure it with a pin. Balancing the grain here will allow you to match a plaid or a horizontal stripe at the side seam. Slash into the balance guideline below the waist to within one quarter inch of the waist tape. This releases the muslin over the high hip. Pin along the balance guideline from the waistline to the neckline. Now we'll pin the muslin along the dress form's princess line. Begin by smoothing the muslin across the waist and then placing a pin at the princess waist intersection. Feeling through the muslin with your fingers, place pins along the princess line from waist to apex. Make sure that the muslin's bust level guideline is level with the bust level style tape of the dress form. Notice how you'll be trapping ease between the pins as you get near the apex. Continue pinning and feeling the princess line with your fingers as you go. Smooth the muslin flat as you pin. Place a pin at the neckline princess intersection and along the neckline until you reach the balance guideline.
Level the bust guideline at the side seam and secure it with the pin. Smooth the muslin at the neckline and secure it with pins to the side seam. Smooth the muslin below the bust level to the side seam and place a pin at the waistline side seam intersection. Looking and feeling through the muslin, begin marking the side front panel in a counterclockwise direction, starting with a cross mark at the princess neckline intersection and then a series of dots along the princess line to the apex. At the apex, in the middle of the style tape, place a cross mark. Continue to dot along the princess from the apex to the waistline. Place a cross mark at the princess waist intersection below the waist tape. Dot along the bottom of the waist tape until you reach the side seam. Place a cross mark at the side seam waist intersection. Place a cross mark at the side seam neckline intersection. Then dot along the neckline until you reach the princess line cross mark. Make sure that you've captured all of your markings and then unpin the side front drape from the dress form. Begin draping the center back panel by folding back and finger pressing the 1 inch extension. Again, never iron this fold as it will stretch the grain. Align the center back panel to the center back of the dress form. Pin at the neckline center back intersection with approximately 2 inches of excess muslin above the pinning. Continue to pin along center back from the neck to the bottom of the waist tape. As we did for the front, we will be using the dress form's princess line for the back drape. Smooth the muslin over from center back. Place pins along the neck style tape and down along the princess line. Feeling the line with your fingers as you pin. Pick up ease at the center back of the panel at the waist and secure it with a pin. Finish with a pin at the princess waistline intersection. Begin marking the center back panel in a clockwise manner, beginning with a dash at the center back neckline intersection. Dot along the top of the neckline style tape, looking through the muslin as you mark until you reach the princess line. Place a cross mark at the neckline princess intersection and then continue to dot along the princess line, feeling for and ending with a cross mark at the princess waistline intersection at the bottom of the waist tape. Dot along the muslin at the bottom of the waist tape until you reach center back, then place a dash. Check to be sure that you've captured all of your markings, then remove the center back drape from the dress form. In preparation for aligning the side front panel's balance guideline, use your tape measure to find the midway point between the princess line and the side seam. Sink a pin into the dress form at that point. Align the balance guideline of the muslin block with the midway pin. Make sure that you have approximately one and a half inches worth of excess muslin above the next style line so that you have enough for seam allowance at the side seam neckline intersection. Pin at the balance guideline neckline intersection. As you smooth the muslin down to the waistline along the balance guideline, make sure that the line is perpendicular to the floor and not shifting to the front or back. Place a pin at the balance guideline waistline intersection at the bottom of the waist tape. Pin along the balance guideline from the waist to the neckline. 
It's important for the guideline to be at a right angle to the floor, especially when matching a plaid or horizontal stripe. Place a holding pin at the top of the muslin block and then slash into the balance guideline to within one quarter inch of the waistline. This releases the hip. Now we will pin the muslin along the princess line. Feeling through the muslin with your fingers, Place pins along the princess line from the waist to the neckline. Continue to pin along the top of the neckline style tape to the side seam. Smooth the muslin down along the side seam and secure a pin at the side seam waistline intersection at the bottom of the waist tape. Secure a pin at the princess waistline intersection and another between the side seam and balance guideline at the bottom of the waist tape. Mark the side back panel with a cross mark at the side seam waistline intersection at the bottom of the waist tape. Continue to dot the muslin along the bottom of the waist tape until you reach the princess seam where you'll place a cross mark. Feeling for the dress form's princess line with your fingers, dot along the princess line from the waist to the neckline. Cross mark the neck princess intersection. Dot along the back neckline until you reach the side seam, where you'll place a cross mark. Make sure that you've captured all of your markings and then unpin the side back drape from the dress form. Start with your center front bodice drape face up on the table with the fold facing you. With your styling curve, true the neckline from center front to the princess cross mark. With your hip curve, True the princess seam. Flip the curve over to connect the dots for a nice smooth line. Use your clear plastic ruler to add one half inch seam allowance to the neckline and princess line pivoting the ruler as you mark. Trim away the excess fabric around the neck and princess line with your fabric shears. Next, we will true the side front panel. Use your clear plastic ruler to connect the side seam cross mark to the waist cross mark. Always draw the lines a bit beyond the cross marks. Use your hip curve to true the neckline from side seam to princess line. With your styling curve, true the princess seam of the side panel. You will have to readjust the styling curve and flip the curve to connect the dots and to get the best possible line. Add one half inch seam allowance with your clear plastic ruler at the neckline. Add one inch seam allowance to the side seam and one half inch seam allowance to the princess seam. In the fashion industry, you would use 3 8 seam allowance for production, but here we're using one half inch in case we need to make fit adjustments.
Trim the excess muslin with your fabric shears along the neckline, the side seam, and the princess seam. With the center back panel face up and the fold positioned away from you, square a line off the neckline at center back with your clear plastic ruler for about one inch. Then, true the rest of the back neckline with your hip curve connecting the dots. Use your hip curve to true the back princess seam from waistline to neckline. Add a half inch seam allowance to the neckline and the princess seam. Cut away the excess muslin at the neckline and princess seam. With the side back panel face up, use your clear plastic ruler to connect the side seam cross mark to the waistline cross mark. Use your hip curve to true the side back panel's neckline and the princess seam. With your clear plastic ruler, add one half inch seam allowance to the neckline and to the princess seam neckline to waistline. Then add one inch seam allowance to the side seam from waistline to neckline. Cut away the excess muslin at the neckline, the side seam, and the princess seam. Once all of your bustier panels have been trued, you will begin the process of pinning them together in preparation for truing the waistline. Start by joining the side front panel over the center front panel beginning at the apex. Finger press the seam allowance and pin the side panel over the front panel. Finger press, match up, and pin the neckline princess intersection together. and then the area above the apex. Your pins should be inserted exactly on the seam line fold and at a right angle to the seam. Next, finger press the side front waistline seam allowance, match up the cross mark to the center front waist cross mark and pin them together. Continue pinning the princess side front seam over the princess center front panel by cupping the apex in your hands. This makes it easier to pin since this area is curved and has some ease between the pins. Complete the pinning of these panels side over the front on the table.
Next, finger press, match up, and pin the center back panel over the side back panel at the neckline. Then, finger press, match up, and pin the center back waist cross mark over the side back waist cross mark. Finger press the center back princess seam and finish pinning the back princess seam over the side back panel princess seam. Join the side seams back over front. Fold back the seam allowance on the side back panel, match up the neckline, and pin them together. Match up the cross marks at the waistline and pin the side back panel over the side front panel. Add more pins to complete the seam. Now that the panels are all connected, we can true the waistline. Begin by squaring a line off the center back waistline with your clear plastic ruler for about one inch. Square a line off the center front waistline for about one inch with your clear plastic ruler. Using your hip curve, connect the back waistline from the squared line at center back, connecting the dots, until you reach the side seam. Flip the hip curve and connect the front waistline from the side seam, connecting the dots until you reach the squared line at center front. Add one half inch seam allowance to the waistline with your clear plastic ruler from front to back. Trim away the excess muslin at the waistline and at the side seam with your fabric shears. The last step in draping a bustier is to add notches to the princess seams. Transfer the apex notch from the center panel to the side panel on the princess seam. Place a notch one and a half inches above the apex and another at one and a half inches below the apex using your clear plastic ruler. Notch marks are always drawn at a right angle to the seam. On the back princess seam, measure down two inches from the next stitching line and place a notch. Place a second notch one half inch below the first. Use your sewing machine to sew a holding stitch along the bustier's neckline to keep it from stretching. Set your sewing machine to between 9 to 10 stitches per inch and begin stitching along the next stitching line from the back princess seam to the front princess seam. This will help stabilize the bias area between the princess seams. Put the bustier drape back on the dress form the way you draped it, pinning along the center front, the side seam, and along the center back to check it for fit. And this is how you drape a bustier bodice.